it's been a year since the Galaxy Note 2 has been launched. But is it slacking out now? Has Samsung failed to keep us updated? Well, yes. So people have moved on to different ways of staying updated. I've used CyanogenMod. So let's see the review of CyanogenMod 10.2. Here we go. So first of all, Galaxy Note 2 was launched with Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 and it's it hasn't been updated ever since so it's been slacking out the features have been lost and people have grown tired because Android 4.3 has been out just a while ago so um, people have been really upset about that but lucky for you Galaxy Note 2 users like me out there uh, Samsung has announced that they're gonna be giving out an update to the Galaxy S3 and the Note 2 to support the new Samsung watch in order for that you need Bluetooth 3.0 and that only comes in Android 4.0 3 so it has to update to Android 4.3 in order to get these features so hopefully we get Android 4.3 on our Galaxy Note 2 pretty soon uh, Samsung promises it will be there for before the end of this year so but now we're gonna check out CyanogenMod 10.2 now CyanogenMod 10.2 is one of the best mods out there it's, it's so smooth and it gives you the perfect jelly bean stock Android feel and for many of you out there who thought that is it dangerous rooting your device well I had those feelings as well but trust me once you do it it's totally worth it this is CyanogenMod 10.2 so first as soon as you see um, you get these lock screen widgets in the front and um, they're really nice it only comes from android 4.2.2 and above or 4.2 and above so this is running on android 4.3 at the moment let me show you about phone and android 4.3 so that's the latest version of jelly bean right now so it's done a pretty good job and it works exactly like the original Jelly Bean 4.3. It even has the project. It's not official, but it's like Project Bara 2.0. So it's much, uh, much swifter. If you check all the apps open, really, app, sw app switching is really fast. Um, it's just really good. If even there is no lag and stutter between any animations, it's just smooth. Although um, in the ROM there is a problem. Uh, some apps that um, you open up, there won't be a screenshot on the multitasking view but uh, that will be fixed pretty soon I know Cyanogen mod they work really hard and they will get that bug fixed but other than that there is no other problem it works exactly like you would want it to be so basically getting Cyanogen mod 10.2 you'll be having all the features of Jelly Bean and if you want to know the what stock Android is how different stock Android is from a Samsung's uh, Android version then check out my previous video and I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check that out then you will get all those features that I've announced in that video and you will have more customizability so many features that um, stock Android doesn't give this gives you more so you get more modifications like the quick toggles you don't get these many toggles but uh, you can add as much as you want on the Cyanogen mod there are many other stuff you can do there's a lot of modifications you can do anything basically your home screen your lock screen there are themes so it's worth it there's no problems if you guys are trying to root your device and you want a custom mod Cyanogen mod is the way to go so hopefully this video was helpful and if you like it click subscribe and give it a thumbs up make sure um, to watch my previous videos if you want to know more about uh, what Cyanogen mod or jelly bean pure stock jelly bean gives you what the features are and um, if you guys want any other videos like the Galaxy Note 3 versus the Galaxy Note 2 or Android versus iOS 7, make sure you give the thumbs up and tell me in the comment section below and I'll give you the videos. Keep watching.